what is going on guys this is cupcake smasher here bringing you another video and today i am back on my mini account now i am in the bone pit right now i did just drop down here because i wanted to try out some more decks work on getting to something good because my last deck that i've been using has gone pretty stagnant so i just want to kind of practice on my way up and have some fun while doing it so i'm going to be getting into the first battle right now Okay, guys, so here we are this time. This one will be really fun. So I've picked out all cards that they should never have seen before. All of these are Arena 3 and up, and it looks like all the ones I have right now are from Arena 4, so there's very little chance he's seen these before. I'll throw a Pekka in the back here, and now he is going to be just wondering what to do for sure. Pekka, so Pekka walking forward. I think I'll back up with a Hog and then a Freeze. Uh, and then, I mean, I might throw an Inferno Tower down if I so choose. Yeah, I'll just throw an Inferno Tower, take down that giant. He's in so much trouble, he doesn't even know. Uh, let's go after, uh, goodness. I, he's doing, oh, whoa, he's getting my P.E.K.K.A. That's a, that's a violation of my trust. So, P.E.K.K.A. takes down these goblins, though. Uh, fortunately, I mean, I, I was really worried there. Let's go, uh, free spell? No, nah, let's go Hog, or er, Minion Horde. And uh, he's now seen absolutely zero of this before. This is probably his first time ever seeing it. And it'll probably be his last for a while. Because he, he's probably going to quit because of this. So let's freeze up these towers. Get the minion horde doing some good damage. We've got our Pega on the king tower now. And this will be a very quick finish for us. There goes the Pega taking down the tower. One more shot. And boom. There it is. Oh my goodness. This is so fun. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run this deck once more. Just because it is so, so much fun. So here we go, guys, against a number four or a level four, not a number four. He should again never have seen any of this before. Ooh, and he's gonna go creative. He's gonna go giant skeleton. So you know what I'm gonna do? Pekka right behind it. So once the Pekka takes down the giant skeleton, Pekka will turn around and not be affected so much by the bomb. He's smart though. He throws a musketeer, so the Pekka will end up being just standing on top of the bomb. Oh, maybe, maybe. Ah, dang it. Barely not out of range. So I'm gonna go. Hog then or barbs hog then freeze saw that with the main account the other day or er, not the other day yesterday Let's throw a Tesla in the center actually this guy all these people like I can't get these big combos like I like to do on my main account all Situated because these people just like to throw whatever troops they have in their dock And uh, I say these people because most of my friends are at this level and that's what they do So here we go. Let's go hog rider and now we're gonna go free spell. So we got hog we got barbs He he's smart though. He throws the valk and with all these level 1 units, it's going to be rough for me. So I'm going to freeze these towers. I should have froze the Valk as well, though. That was really dumb. Oh, this is really... Oh, my goodness. I'm in some trouble. Minions coming at me. I'm going to have to use my minion... Oh, no. You got to be joking. So he's going to use his giant skeleton. He's got actually got some pretty decent strategy here. He knows what's going on, but our Inferno Tower should be all right to go. Oh, no. But he throws a Goblin Barrel. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So come on. Take down... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, gosh. I'm going to lose the tower. This is not going nearly as well as I thought it would be going. Uh, let's go. Oh, goodness. I don't even know what to do. I think I'll throw a Tesla in the back to take care of the Mini Pega a little bit because this tower is basically down. And there we go. So we're going to take care of the Mini Pega with the Tesla there. So he has seen, he knows kind of what a Pekka is. But let's throw another Pekka combo. This time he's used his Giant Skeleton up already, and I won't be responding. I'll go Mini Pekka, or he's going to go Baby Dragon. That's fine. I can ignore the Baby Dragon. So I'm going to go... Pekka on one side and then followed by a minion horde and I guess no I won't because I need to deal with this musketeer uh do I do I do it no I'll go YOLO and ignore it and oh my goodness couple more shots by the musketeer and I'm done but there we go we got Pekka going into the no you gotta be joking he gets the giant skeleton at the last moment and oh my goodness so the tower is barely not going down let's go inferno tower here now I think I'm gonna have to go hog freeze oh goodness Oh, goodness, let's get those barbs. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. Yes. So it looks like the barbs caught all those goblins. He's going to start arrowing down our tower, so I'm going to have to hog freeze here. Uh, whatever he lays, let's freeze it up. Uh, he's going to go baby dragon, and he's going to completely miss. So that is fortunate for me for sure. One more shot by the P.E.K.K.A., and we should be good. And now we got to use our minion horde effectively. Where is our P.E.K.K.A. going? Okay, so P.E.K.K.A. decided to turn around at first, and uh, I'm going to have to freeze up these goblins. Oh, goodness, that was close. Oh my goodness, that was close. So now we got a Pekka going in, though, and let's just throw an Inferno Tower here and hope for the best with the troops. Come on, take him down, take him down, take him down. Come on, Inferno Tower, you got this, you got this. Yes. Now let's go Hog right there. Let's go Barbs as well, I think. Yeah, let's go Barbs as well. He's got a giant skeleton, but he's turned around onto our Inferno Tower and is going to die. That is awesome. And now Tower down. 
Boom, Supreme Joey, you didn't even know what hit you. Oh my goodness, though, what was this, an average cost of 4.6 elixir? I'm not doing this deck again, that's way too stressful, so let's get into one more deck and uh, see how that one goes. Okay guys, so this is my last battle, and I'm doing a modified expo deck. I'm going to be doing the building spam style, so hoping he's going to engage my towers once I start putting him down. I'm going to go barb in the center off to the front, so if he does end up breaking something through, I can distract with the hut itself. So here we go, he's got his prince coming, and I forgot my hut is level 1, that is not good. Not good at all, so he's got he's got a pretty decent strategy going. Uh, he's going to be in some trouble. What the heck was that goblin barrel? So th there's where his strategy uh, falters a little bit. But now we've got some goblins in the center doing all right. Uh, come on, let's take down the last couple of goblins. And no, how did that prince get charged? Okay, prince got charged up by, by some miracle for him. But that's okay. Let's go. So he's going Pekka. Let's go goblin hunt here. And uh, what level are my goblins would be a very good question. I don't think they're very high level at all. Let's uh, throw some minions down, please. Oh, come on. No, turn around. Oh, my goodness. So I'm not doing pretty, or I'm not doing very well at all with the aggro game, and I'm actually gonna lose this tower. So, oh goodness. So he's gonna go prince in the back, but that's okay with me because these goblins are gonna help me out tremendously. And I think it's time to start with an expo on the other side, otherwise I won't have enough time to break free. So let's go expo right now. And uh, I don't think he has a bunch of splash damage to help himself out. Let's get some arrows down. And now whatever he tries to use with the expo, I'm gonna use some skeletons and some goblins to try to stop that. So here we go. He, he, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, goodness. I did not think of the ca cannon. I, like, of anything in the world that I would have guessed right there, I would not have suspected he would use a cannon. So now, uh, dang it. Let's just go Goblin Hut here, because if he wants to throw his prince again, he won't be able to. So he's going to go with a Barb Hut of his own. That's a level 2, so uh, it's not the worst in the world by far. So let's go uh, minions, and then we're going to go expo again. So hoping for the best. Oh, goodness. So he's going to go with a mini P.E.K.K.A., but I think we'll be fine. These uh, minions should be doing some good work. Come on. Don't let the tower go down, though. Please no. Please no. Please no. Yes. So tower didn't even take a single shot. Now he's going to go with a prince in the back. We are doing awesome, and this expo should be able to make everything down unless he uses that weird cannon thing again. Probably won't, though. Oh, no, he is. Oh, but he misses the cannon. He misses the cannon. Don't engage. Don't engage. Don't even bother. He missed the cannon. So there we go. Our minions are still alive, too, which is the best part about this all. Oh, my goodness, though, that fireball. Was it a clutch enough fireball? Oh, get that in front of the... Yes. Yes. Okay, good. It was a clutch enough fireball. And now I just keep stacking up the huts on the opposite side. And uh, he's in some trouble. I do need to keep the huts going, though. Uh, otherwise, I will end up running out of troops so let's get another barb hut coming and my troops are right now annihilating his but he is doing it smart he is trying to get the goblin barrel but he's not doing the goblin barrel in a very good way so now let's get another goblin hut going and then i think i'm going to be able to do an expo he's going to start fireballing but he's missing that fireball he didn't even try to go for the huts themselves he just tried to clean up my troops and now i think it's basically going to be game over for him he's going to lay some barbs right on my expo as i laid it though so Maybe not quite yet. Oh, but he's still slowing down my units, which is good for me. Let's get some of these dump troops. Like, just get get rid of them. And now, I think I'm going to go with another barb hut here in a second. We're going to start trying to inch our way forward a little bit. We've got so many troops on the map, though. This, uh, oh my goodness, that cannon absolutely melted right there. So even though these are super low troops coming out of my towers, there's still so many of them. He's going to have to fireball. Oh, goodness, I think I have to use an expo again here, otherwise I don't have a chance. So let me go minions first to try to clear out these barbs. We'll go arrows, and then after this, it needs to be an expo, otherwise I will run out of time. So let's go, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. So just enough time, so if I get through this, I should have just enough time to get through with this expo. He's going to end up fireballing the area, and now I have a bunch of troops right in front. Come on, come on, clutch, seven, six, five, five, four, oh, goodness, three, two, one, Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. There is the win. Oh, my goodness. Joking Jerry. Who did we play? Jerry. We played Joey. We played everyone. But there we go. Undefeated in the low arenas, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like it up. Subscribe for more. And until next time, guys, this has been Cupcake Smasher bringing you another video.